Hi there, Aries, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the month of January 2020. So I laid out the cards in a Celtic cross. Let's see what's going on for Aries in January. <laughs> Here we go. First up, we have the Nine of Swords reversed, followed then by the Six of Cups upright. Next, we have the Page of, uh, or sorry, the Knight of Pentacles reversed. And then we have the Page of Cups upright with the Queen of Swords upright with the Queen of Wands upright. And next, we have the Nine of Wands reversed, followed then by the Ten or Seven of Pentacles in the upright with the Major Arcana Temperance upright, and lastly, the Five of Swords in reverse. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and interpret this read for you. First of all, Aries, for your overall energy, you have that of the Nine of Swords in the reverse position. The Nine of Swords reversed is actually good. It's good news because if you've been worrying about something, perhaps um, lately you've had a lot on your mind and maybe you were in the nine of swords energy in the upright which is a lot of anxiety a lot of thoughts ruminating around in our head uh, causing great stress but when it's in reverse it could be in the month of January uh, maybe you're not worrying so much about a situation perhaps situation has recently resolved itself or you've just disconnected from it I don't know <laughs> so the card that's crossing you is the Six of Cups in the upright position. Six of Cups is, this is your sort of floating energy throughout the month. Six of Cups upright points to, can be a blast from the past. Maybe some of you are reconnecting with some old friends, old family members, uh, or even just remembering the past fondly. Maybe you're getting together with people or talking to them on the phone or what have you, and just remembering some good times. But for some of you, it could be that someone from the past, someone special, or a group of people have returned in the month of January from the past. Now, in your foundation position, this is the past, something that could have taken place a couple weeks ago, a couple months ago. We do have the Knight of Pentacles here in the reverse position. Is the court card could be representing a person. If it's representing a person, this is Earth energy, that of uh, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising, male or female. Now, the Knight of Pentacles is very slow-moving energy. This can represent an offer coming towards us. When the card is inverted, however, this can point to perhaps you were waiting um, for, for an offer. Now, for some of you, it could have been waiting for an offer on your home or waiting for an offer on your business or your vehicle or something you had up for sale. And perhaps the offer never came in. For others of you, this could have been an offer uh, for um, perhaps um, a job offer or something, anything that the uh, pentacles govern, which is the tans tangible things in life. Perhaps you were waiting for an offer, or it could have been even on the romantic front for some of you. Maybe you were waiting for this person to, uh, you know, reach out or make an offer, and um, they didn't. They were just, they are stuck for some reason. Now, coming out of the month of December, moving into January, we have the lovely energies, the Page of Cups in the upright position. Page of Cups is the court card too, so it could be representing a person this time. It's water energy, that of Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Sun, Moon, or Rising, male or female. Now, the pages generally bring in messages, so perhaps you're getting a message from Someone could be a water sign, could be any sign. Uh, it could even represent children or grandchildren or some child that's very special to you, perhaps being incredibly sweet. If this is your own child, maybe they're being very, very nice and really kind of making you feel good on the emotional front. For others of you, it could be a message about, uh, if you're in the creative field, it could be a message coming towards you about something you've been waiting to hear about, um, perhaps about a creative project that you're working on or if it's in your career. It's going to be lovely messages for others of you. It could be someone reaching out, someone who has a crush, just sort of sending those messages to you, those signals to you. And um, well, it's up to you, Aries, what you're gonna do about it. And then that energy gives way in the early part of January to yet another uh, court card. This time it's air energy, that of Aries Leo, or sorry, um, that of <coughs> Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Sun, Moon, Arising, male or female. Now, the Queen of Swords is someone who speaks up, speaks their truth, um, is very clear in their thinking, knows exactly, very logical, leaves emotion out of it, 
uh, this could be a friend of yours, someone who's external to you, but this could also be your own energy and how you're feeling in the early part of January. Because um, oftentimes Aries likes to speak their mind. They like to speak up and sort of lay things on the line that could be going on with you in the month of January. Maybe you're feeling very clear headed because you're out of the nine of swords energy now so maybe your head's really clear and you know exactly how to communicate exactly what it is that's on your mind and you want to speak your mind so it's either someone external to you or it's you yourself and then around the middle of the month now we do see the queen of wands here aries leo sag sun moon arising male or female now this is also you coming up in your own reading in the upright position aries this is your energy so if this is the case this could be you taking action on something and you're in the you're in the the right mode whatever it is you're doing if you're coming up in the upright you're definitely on the right track your your um your way of thinking or doing things especially uh, any action you're taking is right on the mark so definitely looks good looks like if this is someone external to you as well it could be communication that comes through from someone else and making you take action on something so very interesting. You got a lot of characters in this reading so far. Now, this is you internally, not necessarily the face you're showing to the world. We have the wounded warrior here, the nine of wands in the reverse position. So the nine of wands upright is the wounded warrior card. This is where we fought a lot of challenges and a lot of battles on the road. We're ready to fight again if we should have to. When the card is inverted, however, this is peacetime. And we do see the making peace with your own mental energy with the Nine of Swords reversed. So that's definitely good news. There's some peace coming. I think you're going to have some peace of mind this month, Aries. And you're going to just sort of say, like, I don't want to fight this battle anymore. Perhaps for some of you, if you're waiting for this offer or this option to come in and it didn't, maybe you're just laying it to rest now and you're okay with it. You're, you're making your peace with it. <laughs> Your people environment, we have the seven of pentacles in the upright position. This is a card that represents reevaluating a situation. It could be how people outside of you are seeing you this month, or it could just be you yourself. Maybe you're reevaluating something in your environment. It could be anything from a relationship to a um a work situation perhaps or a career situation you're you're realizing how much it's already bear fruit for you but you're just sort of pausing for a moment to take a look and see if there's maybe something you could change up switch up sometimes with the seven of pentacles it can represent say for example if we have uh, money tied up in investments or you know, the stock market or things like that. We're just stopping to see if this is still uh, viable going forward. I think reevaluation is very healthy and very good for us. And in your hopes and fears position, we have Major Arcana, the Temperance in the upright position. The Temperance, the Sagittarius card here, is all about cooperation and balance. It's also very healing energy. So perhaps for some of you, you're hoping to heal from a situation, maybe a disappointment from the past or what have you. Maybe you're hoping to heal from it. For others of you, maybe you're just hoping for cooperation right now because you're in peaceful mode. You're in maybe uh, Aries most of you in the month of January are just feeling very peaceful and maybe you just don't want anything coming around to rock the boat. And um, the last card you have up here is the Five of Swords now in reverse. Definitely it's about peacetime here with the Nine of Swords reversed, the Nine of Wands reversed, and now the Five of Swords reversed. The Five of Swords represents in the upright position can point to uh, conflict, inner conflict or conflict with others. But when it's inverted like this, the conflict is over, ready to let down our swords and make peace with a situation or make peace with others or even make peace internally with ourselves looks like a very healing month um not too intense you don't have a lot of major arcana here do you have some people around you perhaps you're making peace with some people for others of you you could be making peace internally within yourself so you're reevaluating something could be a relatively quiet month for you perhaps somebody you know, from the past or a group of people from the past could be um, prevalent, but by the same token, 
I don't see you really, you know, uh, being enmeshed, even though there's a lot of people in the in the read. I don't think you're going to be too involved. I think uh, you're more concerned with, you know, clarity and speaking your truth and, and that kind of energy and sort of just making peace in your mind with everything so you can just move on. Um, reevaluating some things, healing. Very good reading, very calm, rather on the neutral side, which um, I think is good. Good way to start the year. So that is your reading, Aries. I hope it helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Bye-bye.